Greetings you all wonderful people, lovers of aviation, lovers of aviation history. How are you all today? And welcome to another series called Aerophobia. What is your fear? Our previous video, we went through the evolution of aviation. 118 years, timeline from 17 December 1903 till date, what has happened? We looked at so many things as the pre-birthday era, the best day. Then we looked at the Aero Daredevil era. After Aero Daredevil era, the post-World War I era, regulatory era. We worked all our way to more improvements the era, if I should put it that way, airports, aeroplanes, offices, and everything that makes aviation safe. And today, like we said, all these things, infrastructure are there, and we are still assessing the risks that can occur with the constant services we provide to our passengers and we are always designing policies to mitigate the risk and also up the level of quality. Captain Victor Kwesi Amwa is my name from the studios of Aviation Maestro Multimedia. Stick and stay with me. Today's short video is just to ask a question. If some people are scared to fly, if some people just want to use other means of transport, my question I want to ask is that, is aviation itself or is air transport a necessity, a luxury, or, excuse my language, a nuisance? I, this is something I want to uh, ask the aerophobians. From where I sit, air transport is a necessity for one prime reason. It does not have a suitable alternative. And when I say it doesn't have a suitable alternative, what I'm just trying to say is that there are other means of transport which can take you from A to B. It's fine. Road, it's fine. So we take an example from Accra to Lagos. There are good roads. I think 98% of those roads are very good. So from Accra to Lagos, 98% of the roads are good. But you may do it in seven hours, give or take. Let's say the borders, no borders, just a highway from here to Lagos, seven hours minimum. Air transport, Accra to Lagos, averagely 45 minutes. So you can see no suitable alternative. Today, people want to fly to so many destinations for different reasons. To see family and friends, business, for leisure, religious purposes, recreation, other recreational purposes. Even leisure travelers who are not even in a hurry to do anything because they are on leisure travel. They even want to spend more time at the leisure rendezvous than on the way to the leisure rendezvous. You are traveling for business, same thing. You want to spend more time doing the business than more time, spending excess time on your way to do business. Whichever way, air transport is still a necessity because it does not have a suitable um, alternative. Take a ship, for instance, you want to go to New York to just go and sign a contract, uh, maybe three hours meeting. From Accra to New York, by ship, in fact, as far as the last time I checked, no road transport. Ship, one month. Air travel, minimum, 10 hours. Question, one month, 10 hours. Are they the same? No. So do you want to spend more time Sailing, I'm not saying sailing is bad, or I'm not saying the other means of transport is bad, but sailing for one month only to get to destination for some three-hour meeting to sign a contract for one minute. Or you'd rather do maybe 10 hours in the night, arrive at destination early in the morning, freshen up, go do your business, and fly back in the evening. Which one is more economical in terms of man hours? So for whatever reason, that you are consuming air transport. It is a necessity. It used to be a luxury, judging from aviation history in the past. I mean, aviation history over the last four or five decades, it used to be a luxury. It was only for those who were well-to-do, but today it's for almost everyone. So whether you like it or not, it is a necessity. Aerophobia, wait in be or hala. Aerophobians, why are you afraid? of something which is a necessity. My other videos will start to explain what your fears are and how to overcome those fears. Love you all. 
and uh, stick and stay with me on my other videos.